So what time did you get done working last night? Um, I don't remember. He went out to dinner afterwards. Like with oh, the whole crew. Dinner. Yeah. Oh really? Oh. And I came home, went to sleep. And woke up and went back. I, I thought maybe you forgot your phone or something. They hadn't heard from you all day. Uh, oh, no, I had my phone. I was just busy. Yeah. Oh, well, then I thought you might have been in an accident last night. Cause I hadn't heard from you at all. Cause that's abnormal. She, if she gets in an accident, I'm not going to know. And it's, and it's not like you're not to, not to Hello? text something. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. I can kind of hear you. Okay, it'll come back in a second. It's just the area. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. I didn't know what happened to you. I get worried. I worry easy. And well, you hadn't texted me at all. I, I was like, "Fuck, she got might have gotten a fucking accident." I'm not gonna know. Kind of ridiculous, don't you think? No, that's just the way I am. I get it from mom. She's the same way. That's where I get it from. Plus, we've always texted throughout the day, too, so I'm just used to that. So, but I'm happy as hell that you called me. So, did you finish the itinerary? I got one day finished. I got the first day right. finished. Let's hear it. Hold on. I didn't go and get it. Did you call your lawyer today? No. Did you read the email that I forwarded to you that he sent me? Remind me. He told me that he, he was going to, uh, that he found the, the release form and he sent it to Sean that him and Sean was going to have, that he was going to have a talk with Sean so I didn't have to call him. Unless I have any other questions. Uh, I sent that email to you. Oh, cool. So what does it say, the itinerary? <clears throat> All right. On the first did you send day. It? Did you email me it already? What, the itinerary? Yeah, or like take a picture. I didn't, but I can. Okay. We'll read it first. Okay. I've only got the first day done. I don't have the second day done. Yep. You said that. Okay. The first day, we shower. And at 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock, we have breakfast, which means that we make our breakfast. That's why I put that two-hour time length in there, so it gives us time. Wait. How long do you need to shower? Uh, I I usually take at least a fifteen twenty minute shower, <laughs> sometimes a half hour, <laughs> just because the water right. feels good. Well, I get to go first. You get to go first. <laughs> well, why don't we shower at the same time? That'd be even better. Well, I guess you can shower in your trailer while I'm at my hotel. I don't think it's going to matter. So... Oh, you don't want to stay here with me? Oh, did your dogs die? No. Uh oh. But I can keep them. And, and after they see you for the first 15 minutes, they're going to calm down. They're going to leave you alone anyway. 
Yeah, they would need to be outside the entire time. Well, Roscoe will be outside the entire time anyway, pretty much. Sadie, she'll, she'll be either on the mattress sleeping in a um, well, little cushion, couch cushion that I have on a few places on the floor. So where am I meeting you for breakfast? Huh? So where am I meeting you for breakfast? I was hoping you'd want to stay here with me. No, I I just told you, no. I don't want to be with dogs. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll figure out where to... And if I stay there, you'd have to keep him outside. But... Um, you have two showers. You said we can shower at the same time. Well, yeah, why can't we share a shower? <laughs> why would we... You think I'm going to come meet you and then day one take a shower with you? I thought it was a nice idea. <laughs> I'm sure you did, but... Uh-huh. I don't really shower with people I don't know. No. Really uncomfortable. Anyways, <laughs> um, so keep going. I can put Roscoe and Sadie Elton though. All right. The well, bed. I'm still going out there. I'll figure that out. Yeah, that's just for now. For now, just think I'm staying there because that's what you have written down. So keep going. You take okay. a shower, then I take a shower, or I go first. And then, so I have all the hot water, and <laughs> then we go eat breakfast. Yeah, we can either Where? we can either make our own breakfast here, or we can go out to eat for breakfast. Well, what did you have written down? I I didn't write either one down because I wasn't sure how what because you, you said you like to cook, so I wasn't sure exactly what you like to do, what you what you want to do, and I figured you had you know if we. We you like to cook if we made something together, that would be kind of neat. Okay. Or, or at least one day. One day we can maybe cook breakfast together. Okay, cook continue. Yeah, something like that. Okay, then from 9 o'clock to 10.30, we do yoga. Which... Okay, I'm, I'm assuming again that you're gonna have to have be here Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Okay. Saturday, Saturday and Sunday is the, is the weekend, so it'd be better for both of us. So then Monday will be the one day that we'd be able to go to the to the class to do yoga. So All I right, figured this is day one. So okay, day where one we, we do yoga. yoga? We'll, we'll do yoga right, right here in the living room. Okay. But you're like literally going to have to teach me. Because I already told you what I thought yoga was, and apparently I'm pretty far from it. <laughs> and I'm going to no, be sweating. I think you got yoga and meditation confused. I think so, too. All right, keep going. Okay, 10.30 to 12. Uh-huh. Three hours. Okay. At 10.30 to 12 o'clock, we dance. We dance where? Yeah. Right here, right here in the living room. So you can teach me some dances. Okay. Because you're not accepting the dances that I'm sending you now, so I'm not getting any pictures. And when I think they're different dances, they turn out not being different dances, and I don't get any pictures. Okay. okay, so from 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock, we go to the restaurant Wits End. That's in Scowig, and it's a nice, nice restaurant. Well, I'm going to have to take a shower again if I'm doing yoga and then dancing for like four hours. But, sorry, this time, I put 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock. It doesn't take us two, two hours to eat lunch, so it's plenty of time. We'll wind up taking probably like three, three showers throughout the day, which is good. Why is that good? Well, because it makes sense. 
uh, take a shower after we do the yoga and dancing. And then from the end of the day. Okay, keep going. Okay. From, from two o'clock to five o'clock, we, we go to movie, pick out a movie with, that we want to watch or watch at, at, at a theater. From two to five? Uh, yeah, because I don't I figured I'd give it. Watching? Well, if we can fit two in, we'll fit two in. But I I figured if we find one that we like, I'm not going to know what time the movie is on. So I figured that if that we have that three hours in there, then it, it gives us room to figure out, you know, if we want to watch that movie, it'll give us that time frame. All right. What's the movie theater called? What's the uh, Skywagon Cinemas? Okay. Okay. So I don't know. I don't even know what's playing for movies. I don't. I don't pay any attention to them. So. I mean, I, new movies that are out. I have no idea. Right. Move on. Okay. Five o'clock to six o'clock, we play a game here at home. We play Twister. I won't get tangled up with you. <laughs> Have you ever played that? When I was, uh, a, you know, a little girl, but do you have that game? No, so I'm going to have to buy it. But I didn't. I played a, a few times when I was drunk with some, some friends at a party, and it was really pretty awesome when you're drunk. But pretty awesome. I'm not gonna be drunk. I'm not, uh huh? It's awesome to play Twister when you're drunk. It is. It's funny. I mean, okay. I'm not gonna be drunk. We're not gonna be drunk, but it's it's still. I might be drunk. It, you might be <laughs> on vacation. Uh, well, yeah, that's true. But see, that it, it, it's fun, and it, it gives us a chance to get closer and do stuff together. How long are we playing Twister? For an hour. Okay. Then from six o'clock to eight o'clock, we'll either make dinner at home or go out to to a restaurant. What restaurant? That I don't know yet. The, the, I I know, but I don't know if they're open at that time. So I got to check what on that. Thinking? Huh? What were you thinking? I can look it up. I can't remember. I, I saw a commercial on it the other day. And it's in Skowigan. And it begins with a W. But I can't remember the name of it now. Okay, let me look up restaurants in Skowhagen. With well, the name of the, uh, damn. Oh, Christ, I can remember the name of it. How do you spell Skowhagen? S-K-O-W-H-E-G-A-N. Okay. The uh, begins, begins with a W. It begins with a W. Um, yeah. Well, lucky for you, there's only like 15 restaurants there. And um, not a single one begins with a W. There's a That's it. Is that what you were thinking of? No. No, there's, there's another one. Maybe it doesn't begin with a W. Maybe I just have W stuck in my head. List off, list off the ones that are on there, and I'll, I'll, I'll know it by the name. Um, there's Ken's Restaurant, May Lee Garden Restaurant, Burger King, Subway, Pizza Hut, Slice Bar, Ack Lee, High Tide, Low Tide Seafood, Heritage House, Alice's Restaurant, 
Brick House Kitchen, Wits End, M Thai Restaurant, Snack Shack, and Al's Pizza. That's every restaurant in Scout Hagen. Well, what was that one with the, the seafood? What was that one? High Tide, Low Tide. High Tide, Low Tide. Maybe that's it because it, it had seafood in it. I think there was another okay. one. Okay. Off the. None of those um, dog your memory? No. Maybe it was high tide, low tide. Well, high tide, low tide is actually a grocery store. It's near a grocery store? No, it is a grocery store. Oh, well, it's not that one then. Huh. I'm off the. Jesus. Can't believe well, I can't remember. Out of those restaurants, what, which ones are good? Uh, Al's Pizza is good. They, they've, they've been like really good for a long time. I mean, they've, they've been years and years and years around for a long, long time. Um, which end is really good? Which is that's what we're gonna go for for lunch. Um, we can go to this couple of Chinese restaurants. Or I don't know if you like Chinese at all. What are they called? Yeah. Um, I think one of them's called Mai Tai's. Um, the other one, Mai Tai's, is up on. It's called Mai Tai. And it's a Chinese food restaurant? Yeah. I think it's M A I dash T A I. Yeah. And that's yeah. Chinese food? That's Chinese food. Are you sure? Yeah. Like you're positive? Yeah, because that's in the. That's up by Tractor Supply, up in that same. And um, are you sure it's not Thai food? Oh, well, might be. I'm yeah, quite, maybe. I'm quite positive. I'm quite positive they have Chinese food there, though. Yeah, you're probably right. So I've, I've gotten Chinese food from there before. Yeah, definitely not Thai food. Yeah, why well, was it my Thai? <laughs> it's probably Thai food too. Though. It's probably both. Yeah, it's probably both. <laughs> There's another one, I think it's Kim's or something like that. That's a Chinese restaurant. So you don't have a dinner plan? I, not really. So that's where you I, ended up? Well, from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock, we, we eat dinner. Either we go out or we make it at home. The only reason well, I didn't put it, it there, I don't know. I was going to go over ideas with you because you said you like to cook. So it's like, you know, I want to make sure that, that you do some of the stuff that you like. And if you don't want to cook, then we go out to eat. But if you want to cook, then, then we'll do it together because it's more fun. And stuff that we can do together. All right, what's next? Then, then it'll be eight o'clock. So I said, after eight, we can shower and go to bed. Get a nice rest so that way we can fill up the next day. Go to bed at eight o'clock? Well, it, it's, just, it's an idea. I mean, sometimes you go to bed at six and seven o'clock now. I do that you're old, but eight o'clock? <laughs> I'm on vacation. <laughs> Well, I know, but sometimes you go to the, you go to bed early now. Sometimes, so it's like I, I'm not exactly sure when to end the day yet. <laughs> so, but we can do more. We can actually probably go see another movie at eight o'clock too. If you want to stay up later, we can go see another movie. Well, what's there to do besides movies? You don't like, like bowling. Are there. 
the nightclubs. There's the South Side, which is one that my brother Paul goes to all the time. Outside. There's, you know, there's Bloomfields, which there's, uh, there's there's kind of a lot of druggies that go there, so a lot of people stay away from that one. Um, is it a Southside Tavern? Yes. Okay. What kind of nightclubs? So. Kind of nightclubs. You have to go to Waterville. The nightclubs. I'm All not right. sure what they have for night, nightclubs okay. there. Okay. Waterville I've never been to any of the nightclubs in Waterville. Um, well, I think I know why, because they don't exist. There's none, none there? There used to be a couple there. Nope. The other one would be Bangor. They'd It'd be some in Bangor. Oh, here, there's one. King Charlie McFarley. Have you ever been there? Nope, never been there. But if you want to go to that, we can go to that. Well, I need something to do after you go to bed. We won't go to bed until you want to go to bed. All right. Well, what else you got? I can, I can enjoy every minute I have with you. Okay. That's all I have for the first day. I, I haven't done the second day yet. All right. Well, do you have like, if I'm staying there, do you have like an air mattress set up? Or am I sleeping on the same one that do slept on? I have an air mattress, but I was hoping you just sleep right in the same bed with me. <laughs> I'm hoping. So do you have like extra sheets and stuff, or do I have to bring my own? I've got all extra sheets. I should probably book a hotel, huh? Since you have like nothing planned. I've got, I've got everything. I've got everything, baby. I, I promise. I promise you'll be comfortable. So, you had two days. Um, you get a figure too that that I'm I'm trying to go I'm trying to find things that I want to make sure that you're gonna have a good time. Plus I had to I had to look up the yoga thing and I, I had a hard time doing that because you know, to find that was to figure all that out was was difficult. Not well, why don't you send me a picture of the itinerary and I'll make changes to day one and you work on day two and day three. Okay. All right, that's it to me right now. Okay, hold on. What I get to feel that a lot of things are gonna be changed. <laughs> uh, still saying sending. I can go outside and hold it up in the air, but it's freaking cold all the night. And you're not writing it down right now? No, no, I'm sitting there looking at it and waiting for it to, to send. Oh, you'd hear me if I was writing it. Damn. Okay, it's sent. You see on the down the bottom it says Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. At ten yeah. o'clock they have chair ten o'clock they have chair yoga. Yeah. I don't know I don't know what the difference between chair yoga and regular yoga is. Chair yoga it's like 
for old people, like elderly people who don't have much mobility. They use a chair. Oh, yeah. Oh. She, she said that's all they have there is chair yoga. I think that's they only uh, charge ten dollars a day for someone that's just coming in one time. So I think well, that's that's what we can do for that money. You're quiet. I said, uh, where I wrote down fifty one dollars for one month and one yeah. day ten dollars. I figured I figured we'd just do the Monday because we Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Monday would be the only day we can do it there anyway. So well, instead of you're paying, really. Uh, Again? How about now? You sound good. Good. Thank you. <laughs> you didn't get that, did you? What? You said I sound good. I said thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Good. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> And my my lie detector test, I have to reschedule that. I called Bryce today and, and let him know because of where I've been around mom and where I possibly have COVID. So I have to reschedule that because of that. Which I, I don't think that I have COVID, but I still was around mom. So they want you to. Hello. Hello. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put my phone right outside. This is gonna be cold when I go out there because I'm naked right now. Why are you naked? Woo! Holy fucking shit! Jesus! God damn! That wind is a. It's a bit. Damn. Okay, can you hear me better? Yeah. Why do you not have clothes on? Well, because I was in bed. Yeah, so why don't you have clothes on? Because, I, because I'm in bed. I don't wear clothes. I don't wear clothes. in bed with you? Uh, well, if you want me to wear clothes in bed, then I'll wear clothes. Do your dog sleep in the bed with you? They sleep on the end of the bed. Well, uh, Roscoe doesn't usually. He sneaks up here. Sadie always so sleeps sleep on the end of the bed. In your bed, uh, naked, with dogs. I don't sleep with the dogs. The dogs don't sleep under the covers. You're still on a bed naked with a dog. The, the dogs are still on top of the covers. I'm under the covers. You're naked with dogs in the bed. <laughs> it's not a kinky thing, honey. The dogs are just there. Roscoe's not even supposed to be up here. Oh my god, that's Roscoe, gross. Get down. Get down. The Sadie, it's, it's kind of hard to keep Sadie off the bed. She. She was she was so abused by somebody really bad. I don't know what happened, but I mean I've had her for for years. Well, now. why are you making the dog get off the bed now? Well, because Roscoe knows he's not supposed to be up here. So he was on there the entire time. You've been naked this entire phone call. No, Roscoe wasn't. Yeah. Roscoe wasn't. Well, he was, but then he got down. But then he got back up again. And I just put, put him down again. So Sadie's been up here. Sadie doesn't shed like Roscoe does, so I don't. I don't mind her being on the bed, but I have an Afghan on top of the, the blankets, and, and she. And you she have an Afghan. An Afghan, yeah. It's a it's a big big Afghan, covers the whole bed. Uh, I gotta get more blankets in too. So, so 
so but I wash I wash my blankets and sheets like every other day and change every other day. Why? Because Sadie sleeps up on the bed. I can't. When I leave, the only way for me to keep her off the bed is if I close the door and, and close her out. And but then, not as much heat gets in the bedroom because where I've got the stove going, when the furnace kicks on, then heat comes in the bedroom. But with the stove going, if I leave the doors open, then the heat gets all over the house. So, but to keep Sadie off the bed, Roscoe usually usually doesn't get up on the bed. Okay, well, now that I know that you sleep naked and your dog get all over your stuff, what kind of um, hotels are near you? Honey, come on, I can I can accommodate for you, you know. It's in South Hagen. Come on. There's... Where's I the can town? accommodate for you. I, can, I, I need a hotel. I will keep them off the bed. And I will put clothes on when you're here if you want to with me. We really need to have clothes on. I will accommodate for you. Okay. Oh, there's um. Uh, oh, there's this cute place in the old fort. Hyatt Place, Portland Old Fort Hotel. Portland. Yeah. Portland. This no. Is That's in okay. Portland. Portland's like two and a half hours away. How far? About two and a half hours. Oh, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. They have a bunch of stuff. They have a high roller lobster cup. <coughs> uh, the region hotel. I will accommodate for you. I will make I will make sure the dogs stay off the bed from now on. Well, don't make them stay off the bed if you want them on the bed. Um. No, it's, it's it's hard to keep Sadie off. The bed. Uh, well, actually, I know what I can well, do. I put... sleep naked with the dog. Sleep naked with the dog. <laughs> How does that no. affect me? Well, you make it sound like it's weird. I don't. I don't <laughs> do it for some weird thing. She always. She's always been up on the bed. And even okay. when I first got her, from the very first time I I let her in the house with, when I was living over in Canaan. The first place she bolted okay. to was, was the bed. Weird. If you don't keep sleeping with your dog, I don't care. Do you smoke okay. inside? Oh, I, I did until I stopped. Oh, you don't smoke anymore? Not inside. I'm, I'm actually trying to quit smoking now because you're going to have me doing all this stuff. And, and if I don't stop, then it's going to hurt a lot. <laughs> oh. You just said you no. quit. So do you smoke or not? I can't remember. Um, I smoke, but I'm I'm gonna quit because you're gonna have me doing all kinds of healthy shit, and and, and I gotta have air to do that. And I want to enjoy. And I want to enjoy stuff with you. But you don't smoke inside. I did. By the time you okay. get here, you'll never know. How long ago? How, like yesterday, when you when you told me that I need a headband, and I asked you why. You just, um, you just said you used to smoke inside. I did. I used to. It was just today. <laughs> oh my god! Are you kidding me? You, you will never be able to tell. By the time you're here, you will never be able to tell because I already have everything all cleaned up. Yeah, but when you say I used to smoke inside, that when you say yesterday, that means you smoke inside. It means I used to. Yesterday I did. <laughs> Today I didn't. Oh my god. <laughs> you will never know by the time you by the time you're here. You'll never know. How am I not gonna know? 
You're going to get a professor to clean to get the nicotine out of the walls. Have you well, seen those videos on YouTube? Considering the walls aren't painted yet. The only wall that's painted is the laundry room wall. And, uh, I didn't ask if it was painted. I'm saying, are you going to get them cleaned? Yeah, of course I'm going to get them cleaned. Just painting over nicotine doesn't do anything. I know, I got to clean the walls before, before I paint them. You're a little snake, a little sneaky kind of liar. No. <laughs> I didn't lie to you. You said I, I don't smoke inside. I used to smoke inside. And then you said I smoked inside yesterday. Um, how is if the you... inn at Park Springs near the Portland Museum of Art? We will no. stay there. It has 46 reviews. Five stars. Maybe that's two hours, two and a half hours away. Well, there's no hotels near um, Waterville or whatever. Well, yeah, there is. There's no hotels right in Cowhagen, but I'd still rather have you stay with me. Cowhagen, there's only motel. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking for a hotel with an H. What if? Seems like you don't trust that I'll have this place cleaned up. Well, no. You just. You're trying to be all sneaky with me. I'm not being sneaky. I'm just, I was being honest. I, I used to. It was used to. Today is not used to. Yesterday was past tense. What if. What if we rented a cabin? Where? In, in a, um, what's the name of the place? I just I just looked at it yesterday. I actually did work there before I ran the septic business. Um. Northern Outdoors. I think it's Northern Outdoors. I just stay in a hotel. Because you, you have to, uh, so on, There's a lot of stuff in Portland. Yeah, in Portland, two and a half hours away. Why would we want to go two and a half hours away? Well, how about... We just get rid of the Twister game, and in that time slot, you move everything up, and you put driving to Portland. Uh, how's that going to be fun? How's that going to be fun, spending all that time driving to Portland? Well, you can sing a song or something on your way. Yeah, meanwhile, you, you're down there for two and a half hours without me, then all night without me. If I'm asleep, you're not with me anyways. Well, still. I'd be sleeping. I will have this place cleaned up, I promise. Well, that doesn't will... change the fact that you have dogs there. Well, the, the dogs, I can, I can put the dogs out in the metal shed. They can stay right out in the metal shed. That's got a fireplace There's out there. Nice. That's got a wood stove out there and everything. Then they can be warm out there. Just put them out there for the night, and they'll be all set. And during the day when we're doing stuff, they can be in the dog pen. Uh, I actually have the dog. I have the dog shed right out back too, so they can stay right in the dog shed. Roscoe's got his little dog house out back. Sadie, I can set Sadie up a little. Mattress or or something out in the dog shed. You should just stay right out there. They'll they'll both be warm. So I'll take care of that. Don't worry about that, okay? I'll take care of it, so you don't have to worry about the dogs. Well, why don't you just get a hotel room in the same hotel I'm staying at instead of locking your dogs in a metal shed? Um. 
because then I have to be in the hotel room. Right. And I'd be without you in the hotel room. Okay. I want to, I want to be as close to you as I can the whole time you're here. Well, I'd still be sleeping in a different bedroom. So it wouldn't make a difference if you just rented a different hotel room. Yeah, but see, that still sucks. <laughs> well, what did you think we were going to be doing? We were just, I was going to show up and sleep in your bed naked with you? Well, no, but that, is, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I wouldn't say no to us. <laughs> I want to do something fun with you. I, I want to spend time with you. I don't want to. I don't want to be separated from you. So you were going to pick me up from the airport and then we would go back to your trailer and go to sleep. You're going to be naked and that would be um, night one and we'd wake up and take a shower together. I'm not going to be naked if you don't want me to be naked. Why would I want you to be naked? I don't know. Hoping. <laughs> I won't be naked. That's well, kind of inappropriate. Have, I'll, I'll, I'll sleep with a parka on if it makes you feel better. I'll sleep in a snowsuit. How's that? Well, I'm not going to be in the same bed, so it's like however you want. Um, I think it might make me feel better to stay in a hotel in Portland. Okay. Because that's, I don't know, it's kind of weird that you just assumed we would be like sleepy naked in a bed. The first night we uh, meet each other. I don't want you feeling uncomfortable. Well, you made it kind of uncomfortable. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't know why you assumed that. It's because we're getting close. And... I know, but it's still been like 30 days. I'm sorry I made you feel uncomfortable. I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. What if I just rent another bed and put it in, in the spare bedroom? When it that costs more? than just driving two hours to Portland? Well, no, but I don't have the newest vehicle in the world, even though I might wind up getting one before you get here. I actually thought well, about Well, okay, on. so you're not really prepared then, so why don't we put this on hold until you got your driving figured out and stuff? You know? You don't sound like you're ready to have someone come visit. So why don't we just table this idea and we come back to it when you're ready to be a host and you have your, your car situated, you have money to pay for dinners and stuff. And, you know, that way you're fine with driving to Portland and we can do stuff in Portland because um, Cornville doesn't sound all that fun. Um, there's not a lot of There's not a lot of excitement in Cornville. I know that. I, I tell you that all straight. I can tell. How soon did you figure you were going to come out here? What were you thinking? Well, 
uh, even even doing this up, I didn't know exactly when you were figuring. Well, when were you figuring? I was figuring in at least another two months. Okay, well, if you have your stuff figured out in two months and you come up with a plan for things to do, because like I said, I don't know anything about Maine. I've only been there once. But you're the expert. You live there your entire life. So, you know, I've been on dates with guys and they had it all planned out and everything. And it was a lot of fun. And um, so I think you need to, you know, figure out things to do if I'm traveling across the country. I know. And I want to have because it all planned out. Like, for you. Why would I fly across the country, use my vacation days, and show up and there's no plans for anything? Well, see, I was wondering why you were rushing me to do the itinerary. Because <laughs> it's, it's like I didn't, didn't think you'd want to come out that that soon. Well, that was your idea. Um, When did you think I was coming up? I was still hoping for for two months because it would give me that time to get. Okay, well, I more, didn't know you wanted to wait that long, so I thought you had things planned. Oh, really? I don't want to wait that long. So I don't want to see you, but. Well, now we have to. I think it. I think it'd be a, a lot better. To, I I just hate waiting to see you, spend time with. You. But I do think it'd be a lot better, and I think you'd be able to have more fun because then I'd be more prepared. And you think your lawyer will get you out of class by then? Um, I, I don't know. I wish I could answer that. I don't know. Well, you're, you should be getting off probation soon, right? I don't know that either. Buzz, if. If you had a guess, like when you're getting off, because maybe that'd be a good time, because then we can go to bars and and drink vital water and stuff. Well, see, I can get into um, to change that stipulation on the on the drinking, so maybe I can do that in that amount of time too, in the two months time, maybe. Oh. Uh, Let's see the. The thing is, is with you coming out here, it, show, it shows them that you and I are serious. So, so yeah, you said it that. Off, it gets them off our case, and then then it also makes it easier. Because if you came out here a few times, they they'd be seeing the reason why I want to move out there to be with you. Well, it doesn't sound like you're taking it very serious. Well, I am. It's just, well, I really, nah, I was trying to rush and figure this stuff out because I wasn't exactly sure when you wanted to come out. Well, I told you, you when I'm comfortable. Well, I'm, I know, but then you asked, told me to do the itinerary. I, I still wasn't exactly sure when. So I'm like we're trying to rush and do it and think of things to do that I want you to have fun. And I don't want you to come out here and not have fun. I want it to mean something to you. Right. And um, I mean, I don't know what they're, I don't know anything about Maine at all. And you had two days to plan something and all you had was like very vague ideas of stuff to do and things like sleeping naked in a bed and playing twister
I'm sorry I made you feel uncomfortable, okay? That's the way I sleep in bed. I told you that before. But it doesn't mean that I can't put clothes on. Yeah, but like your naked body's been all over your mattress. So you'd have to like scrub it clean and stuff. Why? Well, I have a Kirby vacuum. I clean my mattress with my like Kirby vacuum. Shampooer. Huh? Like a carpet shampooer? <laughs> yeah. The vacuum. It's a, it's a one horse power engine in the Kirby vacuum. Yeah, cool, cool. That's that's what they one of the attachments for. So yeah, those are great. Um, so why don't you go back to the drawing board and put, come up with some real ideas? Okay. Now the this one will make it a lot better because now I can I can plan something that I was actually going to put off the plan. The next time you came up, so this time here I can actually plan this thing and it'd be a lot more fun. I don't understand anything what you just said. Um, when I mentioned renting the cabin to you, I, I looked in the I looked it up and when I was looking up skiing and stuff like that, I looked up uh, Northern Outdoors. And they have some nice cabins there, nice log cabins there. And they have things that you can do outdoors, snowmobiling, going on snowmobile trails and stuff like that. And I want you to do something fun. I want you to... I know it's going to be cold. Yeah, but... but did you look at, like, two-bedroom cabins or what? Yeah, the cabins. They're... Well, there's... You can actually... You can... Roscoe, go lay down. Are there two rooms, though? Okay, you're on the internet right there, right? I'm on my phone. Okay, look up Northern Outdoors in, in the forest. The name of the town is the forest. You'll be able to see the cabins on there. See if we can do something like that. Did that for a day or two. Go snowmobile and, and well, we can't go skiing there, so we, we can rent that for for a night and go snowmobile one day. Then maybe go to Squaw Mountain and rent a cabin up there and go skiing for another day. You have money for all that? In two months' time, I will. And I'll have a better truck. I was actually going to thought about going to look at the truck this weekend, this weekend, but I might wait till next weekend to do it. I'll be honest real quick. Yeah. It kind of sounded like you thought I was just going to fly in there and have sex with you. No, and I, well, I hope for sex with you. Damn straight, I like you a lot. <laughs> Yeah, but I feel but, like but I would never I would never push that on planned for things where like we'd be in the same bed naked and then you had the only real thing you had planned was twister which I you know I can see between the lines had mainly just to touch on me mainly just a what like feel me up oh. no no, that was just to have fun with you and share something close. I want to get close to you. I want to be. You mean like physically I, close? Like physically close and, and do things together where, where, we, where we grow closer. Something fun that would go closer to the break ice. Maybe that's how I should say that. Yeah, let's break the ice by having sex with each other. 
<laughs> I well now I know more of. That's how I break the ice. How to, now, uh, now I know more of hey, how. Nice to meet you. Let's have sex in my car. Now I know more of exactly how you want things to be, so I can I can plan this a lot yeah. better. Respectful. That, that's not what I'm. I wasn't trying to disrespect you. I really hope you didn't okay. think that. Well, I felt disrespected. No, I'm sorry. Because it just sounded like you weren't taking it seriously, and that you were inviting me to come up there and see you, and like we were just gonna fuck, and then. You're gonna well, go I'm tell your base officer we're like good or something. I'm gonna fly home. No, I'm taking you very seriously. If I weren't taking you very seriously, then I'd I'd never ever get the thought in my head of, of moving out to California. Well, that's just a thought, you can say that, but well, but you know what I mean. Yeah. But I would actually do it. It's more than more than just a thought. I would actually do it. Okay, but you get what I'm saying. Yes, I get what you're saying. You won't feel disrespected at all anymore. I'm sorry that that happened. Okay. This will make me feel a lot better being able to wait a couple of months because now I can really do up something that's going to be really awesome for you. That you can oh. really enjoy. I'm now see I'm a lot happier now knowing what you what you're expecting. Well I didn't think you were gonna expect that. I was just gonna come up there and have sex with you. Um, no, I always hope for sex with you. It's because I I like you that much. You like I've me enough to have sex with me, that's so sweet. Well, <laughs> Uh, yeah, they didn't come out right, did it? It's not the sex, it's, it's having that closeness with you. What's being closeness? That, being the, sharing that closeness with you. What's closeness? Closeness, being intimate with you and doing things together. And just, just. Things with you, it's just. I know. I know you probably think it's odd because, because we've really only known each other for, for a little over a month. But, you know, I've liked you for a long, long time. And maybe it's because of the crap that I went through before, that makes this mean so much to me. To me, you're a very special person. I don't ever want to disrespect you, and I want to make damn sure that you have a really great time, and and I always want you to feel comfortable. Well, don't okay. pressure me to come up there if you don't have like real things planned or anything. Like, don't even ask. Okay. Because I'm not just going to fly up there to see you just to, like, please your probation officer. Just for, like, the opportunity to get to know you. Okay. Like, I'm going to have to get to know you prior to such a commitment. Okay. And if you thought that I was going to fly there and on night one, sleep in your bed, and then wake up and take a shower with you, then you are mistaken. Because I don't uh, do I'm stuff like that. Good. That makes me feel even better about you. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to go to bed. I had a long day. 
Oh, I'm very tired. And you're probably okay. tired. It's like 11 there. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, um, I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay. Good night, beautiful. Okay, bye. Good night.